Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So, today we're going to be testing out a few different things. Uh, in Alpha 20, the new update that just came out. First off, I'm just going to quickly browse through here. I didn't think we had any last time. Our main thing is to realistically terraform Mars, uh, because, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> So here's Mars, and here we have Earth, and we have to terraform Mars, not using any god powers, but by uh, doing things that would actually be physically possible. So to do this, we're basically going to be directing asteroids at Mars. Uh, I would grab them from far away and set them on tra uh, trajectories to hit Mars, but that would take way too long for a video. So instead, we're going to plop a few asteroids down that, well, we will simulate if we change their course to hit Mars. And, uh, let's begin. So, what we're going to start with is we're going to hit it with Make Make, because this is going to add the all of the water uh, we actually need on Mars. So, let's plop, if we put, we can just do the launch, although... Mars is moving in what direction? In that direction. So I need to take that into account when launching. So we're just going to aim this way. Go down very slow and launch. This is going to hit Mars, hopefully. And this should start our terraforming process. The water here will create oceans on Mars. Oh no. No, I chose the wrong one. No, it's not Make Make. Good thing I actually checked there. Um, maybe it was Ceres. One of these has an extremely high water percentage. Why are none of the ones... Seems like none of them actually have any water anymore. No, they're all at zero. What? What is going on? Okay, let's check Haley's Comet because Haley's Comet definitely has water. Yeah, Haley's Comet has water. So I guess we can use comets, but those aren't going to have nearly what we need. Hmm. This slightly complicates things. You know what? I guess we're going to rain comets down on Mars' surface. I, I used to think that Make Make had, because whenever I'd collide it with Earth, the oceans would rise extreme amounts, and not because of the... Oh. That was probably Pluto, wasn't it? No. They're all at 0%. I don't get it. They shouldn't be at 0%. Um, I'm not going to complain though. Let's just get started. So by peppering uh, Mars with a few Halley's Comets, this is going to introduce small amounts of water to the planet, into the atmosphere, which will eventually settle down. Um, we can open Mars panel over here and see the percentage of water. Not nearly enough yet, so we are actually going to have to really pepper it we're the amount of water we've added is actually extremely impressive it's just not showing it it's all under the uh ground and we need to lift the water table um let's quickly check apophysis because we need to look for uh faster alternatives and things that'll heat up mars a lot more now if we go back and we're just going to hit it with one big one now um Likely what we'd want to do in real life is exactly that and find one large asteroid with a high percentage. Hey, water's appearing. Look at that. That's what we want to do. Well, we're going to get one large asteroid. We're going to give it a lot of mass. Uh, we're going to make it 50% water. So, it's more of a comet now, but we're going to 
increase its mass uh, substantially. Let's give it let's give it one tenth of the moon's mass because this is going to be necessary to. Uh, now it's also going to have hydrogen in it. We're going to make sure that it has a lot of lighter elements that are just currently frozen. So let's pump that up. And what this is going to do, this is way too big. Even a tenth of the moon, it's looking way too large. Um, so let's go back. We'll make it one hundredth of the moon. How about that? That looks better. And if we get an object like this, which has many light elements, which will quickly uh, disperse into the atmosphere of Mars, creating an atmosphere and enough water to give it some oceans and the collision itself will warm up Mars. The only danger will be that debris from this could actually fly out in Earth's direction. But space is such a large area that the chances of something actually hitting Earth from this would be extremely minuscule. So, as we can see, the gases from this, uh, from it heating up, are going to go onto Mars and increase its atmosphere, especially that hydrogen we added, giving it a rudimentary atmosphere. And it's going to collide, adding a lot of water to Mars, probably too much. Uh, because we had already started with the asteroids, but that's fine. Uh, we can fix that. And it's going to really impact the heat of Mars. Um, Mars is now 91 degrees from negative 60. And it has an ocean uh, because of the amount of water displaced. Now, Mars is quickly cooling down. Uh, and this is the part that Universe Sandbox is not going to simulate for us, is the atmosphere released isn't actually going to be added to the atmosphere of Mars so we're going to do that manually so uh, what we'd want to happen is the atmosphere from that is going to oh can we only go by mass we can't go by uh, pressure please let us go by atmospheric pressure oh geez I can only click on these little particles all around Mars I can't click on Mars itself Help. Send help. Is that Mars? No, that's... There we go. Mars! <laughs> no, we cannot. We, we cannot do that. Okay, that's fine. We're going to have to manually give it atmospheric mass, which we're going to actually plop Earth down and use Earth as a reference um, to see just how much mass we need here. So, the Earth's atmospheric mass is 5.1 to 10 uh, times 10 to the 18 kilograms. So, we'll just do 3 times 10 to the 18. And I think that'll do well enough. Um, 3, 3, e to the 18th kilograms. And we can see the atmosphere up here, and that's our simulation of all the atmosphere released from our nice, uh, <clears throat> our collision there. What is this up here? Oh, that's just a ton of stuff left over. We'll just get rid of all those. Go down here, and here is our Mars. It is cooling down. How do we solve this problem? Well, let's check the albedo. Um, this is going to basically reflect heat off of the surface of Mars. So we're going to turn this down. We don't want to be reflecting any heat at the moment. We're trying to heat it up. Also, there's a little bit too much water. So we're going to tweak it a little bit. Now, another thing this game doesn't simulate would be that the amount of ice would actually reflect sunlight, making it colder. Uh, but that isn't simulated in here. Now, we're going to go back to climate, and we're going to increase the amount of... Oh, we're actually losing atmosphere. This is a huge problem. So, because of the lack of mass Mars has, and not only the lack of mass, but the lack of a... Where is that Mag uh, magnetic field? We need a magnetic field because that prevents solar wind from blowing away the atmosphere. Uh, so let's quickly... Uh, 
go to Earth, jump down, and check 0.319 Gauss. We're just going to actually copy that. 0.319 Gauss. I'm not sure if this is actually going to solve our problem of disappearing atmosphere in Universe Sandbox 2. Let's watch the atmosphere and see if this is protecting it. It appears it is not. We are losing a lot of surface pressure in the such. Uh, if we look at, we want it to be at one atmosphere. It's at one fifth of an atmosphere. We're losing pretty much everything we need. So we're going to have to increase the mass of Mars and we're just going to, uh, we're not going to realistically do, oh geez, yeah. I probably should have thrown more stuff at it. Um, realistically, we could do one of two things in this situation. We could occasionally find ways to constantly increase the atmospheric mass of Mars through basically heavy industry there, uh, letting out greenhouse gases, or increase the mass through the means of either throwing things at it, or yeah, that's the only real way to do it, isn't it? Why is this number not actually changing when I click it? I'm going to assume this is an alpha 20 glitch. Let's put this up to half the size of Earth. If Mars was half the size of Earth, I think it'll have enough gravity to hold on to the atmosphere that we're giving it. There we go. That's going to do it. And now, if we go back to climate, are we losing our atmosphere? No. No, we are not. So now we're going to throw this up to one atmosphere and pray that it stays. Okay, we are losing it, but how much are we going to lose? Okay, it's, it's slowing down. I think it's going to be steady. Steady any second now. And steady at 11, 10, 9... Six, five, okay, maybe not a great temperature, we're steady yet. Not nearly as cold as it was before, though. Uh, so we're going to give it a little bit more mass. Uh, now this has turned from possible to a lot of work <laughs> for humanity to pull this off. Uh, Oh shoot, we just want this to be one. At one atmosphere worth, it is actually 30 degrees, which is too high. But if we give it a little bit of time, it's going to lose a lot of that. Or maybe not. But that's fine. With a pretty uh, stable atmosphere, we're not going to mess with that. We're going to add a little bit of albedo so that it reflects some of the sunlight. And I think think just about here at 30 37 38 there we go that's not a bad temperature and look at that Mars is now terraformed with its own atmosphere magnetic field it's got you know uh, oceans <laughs> But in order to give it a magnetic field and stuff, we actually have to uh, pull off pretty much one of Earth's early experiences, hitting it with a very, very large object to give it a molten core again. And the whole uh, increasing its mass by five times is also a problem that I don't think we are going to be able to realistically uh, do in real life. But overall, it's a fun simulation, and if you guys are interested in more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you all next time. And if you subscribe today, you will get your very own house on Mars, uh, Terraform Mars, and uh, yeah, see you all next time.